Welcome to my Cisco Writing and Essentials lab review. In this lab, we're doing lab 9, 3, 2, 10. This is the first lab where we're looking at an extended ACL. So first thing it wants us to do is hop on the global configuration of R1. Enable, configure terminal. And it wants us to start looking at access lists. So here we have access list. We can do 1 through 99 or 100 through 199. A standard versus extended ACL. The big difference is how we're going to do our filtering. In this example, we're going to be doing an extended ACL. So the next step is what do we want to do? Do we want to do uh, deny, permit, or remark? Remark is just a way to comment them. In our example, we do want to permit. But what do we want to permit? Question mark. So we're on step C. You'll notice all of the different types of protocols that we can do. So here's a very common issue is on your CSINT and on your CCNA, they're going to have you typically write out several lines of an ACL. So you need to understand how to write an extended ACL. So permit. And if we're doing something like a controlling flow via just IPs, then we can use IP. If we're blocking specific ports like TCP port 80, we're going to use TCP or UDP depending on uh, our options. So access list 100 permit. In our example, we are going to be blocking, I believe, port 80. So we're going to be blocking uh, web traffic. So TCP space question mark. We can do one of three sources. We can give a source IP. We can give any. Or we can use the word host that will specify a single host. So if we give a network ID, we're going to have to include things like the subnet. If we do an any, it will just be the word any. If we do the word host, we have to give the IP of the specific hosts. In our example, we're going to be doing a network ID. So 172.22.34.64, space question mark. The source wildcard, again, that's going to be the inverse of the subnet mask. So we're right here. So with the access list 100, permit, the protocol, network ID source, wildcard source, the next one typically is destination. You can also do a specific port at this point, or you can save that toward the end. Kind of depends on the individual. We want to permit traffic to a specific host. So we're going to use the keyword host. And we're going to put in the host address. Here, because we did the word host and gave it the IP address, we're not going to be doing a wildcard sub uh, mask or a wildcard mask. Because again, the word host signifies you're only selecting one. If we didn't specify the word one host, then we could put in a destination wildcard mask as well. But since we did the word host, we can't do that. After our destination, we have the ability to do matching. We're specifically looking at the EQ. That's going to be for equal. We can specifically give certain words or specific port numbers. We're going to be using the port FTP. We could also just do port 21, but. And that's it. That's right, that first code. 
So we want to create a second access list permitting ICMP. Scroll down from PC1 to server. So again, access list, we want it to be part of one permit because ICMP is one of the pre-defined uh, items. Permit ICMP. Put in the appropriate source. Put in the appropriate wildcard mask. We're permitting it to a specific individual destination. So put in host and the destination IP. And there we go. That allows us to do ICMP from this source network to that destination. All other traffic will be denied because there is that implicit deny. So last thing we have to do is we have to apply it. We need to apply it to the gigabit 00, zero interface as it comes in. So int gig 00, zero IP access group 100 and we want it to process as it comes in and our ACL has been applied. So step two is done. All right, so moving on, let's do step three. Ping PC1, uh, ping from PC1 to server. So ping 172.22.34.62. Again, the first one it should be an ARP request, so it should time out, but the rest should go, and it does. Next, let's try FTP. You know what? I'm going to do this a little bit easier. FTP and the IP address is server one. Username is Cisco. Password is Cisco, and it does give us access to our FTP. I'm going to exit it. Control C is what I did to exit out of it, but it did work. Or type the word quit also works. All right, so let's configure and apply and verify an extended named ACL. So we're going to be doing another ACL. So again, I'm going to get to my, back to my global config mode. IP access list question mark. We can do an extended or standard. Why is it earlier when we did IP access list question mark? It gave us a list of numbers. It didn't. We just did access lists. That gave us the numbers 1 through 99 or 100 through 99, 199. When we did the word IP access list, it gave us the ability to choose standard or extended. In this case, we actually want to do an extended. We're going to give it the code name HTTP only because Packet Tracer is kind of particular. I'm going to copy and paste HTTP underscore only. That will give us a sub context menu, extended ACL, uh, in ACL. That's going to be the named ACL. So that takes us down to there. All devices on PC2 LAN need a act TCP access. So we're going to permit TCP 172.22.34.96 question mark. 
Again, we have to do the appropriate wildcard mask. That's the inverse of the subnet mask. Destination options. So in this particular case, we want to allow for individual hosts. 172.22.34.62. Here we're allowing the equivalent web interface, www. And that's it for that one. But we're not quite done yet. We need to create an, a second access control list to allow ICMP from PC2 to server2. So again, permit ICMP 172.22.34.62. Dot 96, the appropriate wildcard mask, and the uh, going to our server, so host 172.22.34.62. That will allow ICMP traffic from that network to that specific host. Again, all other traffic is denied because there is an implicit deny. Now that we created the ACL, we need to apply it. So let's get over to interface gig 00. Sorry, this one's on gig 01. And we will be doing right there. IP access group, HTTP only, as it is processed into the router. And that's all we needed to do. Let's go ahead and verify it by doing step three from PC2. Ping 172.22.34.62. It should work. Let's try FTP. it should fail because we're blocking FTP. And there it goes. Error opening up FTP. Let's go to our web browser. And HTTP works. So that actually is this lab in a nutshell. Check results. We apply the appropriate ACLs. We name the appropriate ACLs, and that's the end of this lab. Thank you.